Hey guys, I am giving away copies of this game. You want to win one? Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will pick winners and announce them within my videos pretty pretty soon. So yesterday guys, I uploaded a great way to farm unlimited upgrade modules, units, materials of all kinds and much more. Today that farm just got twice as good. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support, hitting that like button truly helps out. And subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So this farm now literally every 5 or so minutes you can get 2 upgrade modules and almost 200 units and much more people. Now the farm if you saw yesterday's video is the same location with added sugar. If you missed yesterday's video I will run you through it yet again. Firstly though, credit to easynow1337 for the added sugar and making this farm double the fun. His channel can be found linked within the video description. Okay, so this farm can be done at around that 25% completion mark within a campaign story. Hence why it's made really for newcomers to the game or people who just want to farm materials. So the main campaign mission you want to get to is called Breakout. And while within this mission there are at least two chests which are easy to get, which you can continuously farm for materials like I said, which guarantee you upgrade modules as well as units. Now upgrade modules are used in purchasing high power gear, units are used to buy cosmetics, but you also get a vast array of materials too from this. So start up this mission, skipping all the cutscenes you can and then progress to this area as I do. Now I will state, literally everything within this whole mission you can farm if you wanna. But for the purposes of the video, I just want to show you this quick path to the two chests you can get that increase loot from. So make your way to where I am right now. And Jarvis will mention an enemy nearby which you can kill which will drop decent loot or something along those lines. There is a special enemy unit close to your location. They may drop something useful if defeated. By the first secret room you get to by following this route you can see I take on screen now to where the secret room is. So once here you activate 4 switches which are very easy to do. Once you have done this the floor will open up and you can grab that loot like I said. 50 units and an upgrade module from this chest alone. Now from here you want to progress forward with the mission, following the pointer on screen. This will see you head back towards that room with that enemy, so let's reverse the footage. From here progress forward. Special enemy unit close to your location. They may drop something useful if defeated. So you've been building the resistance in secret all these years? Not intentionally. At least not in the beginning. A lot of us were captured by it. You will then get to this stage where you need to destroy all these ads to progress. But also right here there's another room. And if you are on Miss Marvel or Hulk you can smash through this room wall and guarantee yourself at least another 30 units. Okay so once you have progressed here, killing all the enemies and gone forward, you will enter this room right here where you need to take out this yellow switch off the wall and then destroy two batteries, one up to the left and one up to the right. Once you have done this you will progress forward.
you will then come to another room which beholds a hidden chest, which again guarantees 50 units and an upgrade module. From here to open this room up, it's simple. You again have to activate four switches, so follow what I do on the screen now, smashing the vents, then smashing the fans. It's worth opening if you can activate the unlock sequence. Careful, this might be a trap. Once you have done this, that main door room will open up and you can grab that chest which like I said guarantees you another 50 units and an upgrade module at least, sometimes dropping gear too. And from here guys it's pretty simple, just press start and return to that jet, i.e quit out the mission. Once you have you can load it back up and rinse and repeat and you can do this for as long as you like, obviously though just not completing the mission. And really people, you will earn materials like no other farm I have seen yet. And you'll be able to buy all those cosmetics as well. So yes, I hope this helps you out for sure. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.